The Princeton Tigers in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2004. Their head coach, Sidney Johnson, just 36 years old now in his fourth year at the helm of this program. And a former three-time captain is a player for Princeton. His starting five, Matt Radies, Davis, the hero in that win over Harvard, 63 to 62. The Ivy League playoff, Connolly in the middle, Hummer and Saunders, the starting five for Princeton. For Kentucky, tremendous win over Florida in the SEC championship game, 70 to 54. It's Lamb, Knight, freshman combination in the backcourt with Darius Miller, the junior, Harrelson in the middle, and Terrence Jones, who was the freshman of the year in the SEC. And John Calipari is his team seated a little lower than some may have expected. I think Calipari believes that they were probably lower than what he anticipated on now. Jones, the jumper. Harrelson knocked it upstairs and gets the roll. Well, Harrelson very good at hitting the offensive glass. He's short. Rebounded by Knight. Kentucky looking to run. Knight pushing tempo, gives it up. Lamb lays it in. Boy, like a laser coming down the floor. I want to look at how quickly they come off and watch good guards always find a way to get to the middle of the floor. And then with that left hand, as a lefty, he's got that tiny advantage to make things happen. Miller pulls the trigger and connects for three. Nobody at home for Princeton just then, not even a person with it. It's in the game now for Princeton. Kentucky off to the good start. 9-2, Wildcats. Back in, kick out, Miller. Harrelson, good seal, and he lays it in. Josh Harrelson just too physical down there. So much success with it, why would you? Wow. Knight crossover lob and jam. It's Harrelson up top and a special delivery by Knight. Well, if you take a look, there's the breakdown, and obviously defenders have to come over and help out. You'll see the step across right there, and then that just leaves Harrelson all by himself for slow half court mm -hmm. deliberate sets, which I don't think they really want to get into as much. It's a 6 0 run. Yes. Miller almost lost it, leaning through, counted, and the foul. Darius Miller going to the free throw line. That was very yeah, close sure was. to a top. You take a look. Here's the reach in from behind, and there's the finish. Blend of all of those experiences. Little touch of Bill Carmody also. Played for him one year. And Hummer had it taken away. Lead to three. We'll hit the halfway point of this first half. Land pull up top. He knocks it down. Deron Land. His defensive level is picked up also. And Radies and Denot. And defensively, here's the drive. You don't get real good, strong elevation. That ball can hit the glass and still be on the way up, and you can take it. Long rebound. Matt Radies gets it ahead. Davis now. They've got numbers. Maddox. Lob. Maddox had it denied by Miller. And what a job he has done with this Princeton program to bring them back to prominence in the Ivy. Jones with a leaner. And just the experience. The Lamb picking up. The personal foul, 22 to 20, Kentucky leads a timeout. Pull it back, that gives you the separation for your easier jumper. First lead of the day for the Tigers. Jones gets an easy one on the interior. Discipline, keep the score close, and obviously as the adage goes, the longer the game goes close, the better chance you have of winning it. And Darren in a two-point game over on TBS. Matt Brady's feeding the post, and denied by Harrelson. Ian Hummer could not get a clean shot off defensively. He sure has been the quick step in. A little bit of an extension there with the arm. And go in the first half. Miller wants a post up. That's a big part of his game. Off the back end. Miller book it. Size advantage. Perfectly executed in terms of the ability to really make Maddox smart enough to kick the ball out. And that's where Davis is very, very good. Miller buries a three. Kentucky. Led the SEC in three-point shooting this season at 46%. The fantastic freshman Knight. Kick out. Liggins. Count it! A three! Now well, Knight, that ability. They're trying to get it to go a little bit. Nice cut. Harrelson. It's good and a foul. Kentucky gets its first point to the second half. And with a little bit on the offensive side, try to make some different cuts, make some things happen in terms of going for the basket. A beautiful delivery, and there's that strength of Harold. In the second half. 
They just cannot get into a rhythm offensively. Miller's jump shot, yes. Boy, if not for Miller, you, for Miller, you wonder what would have happened. Energy going at the defensive end. Liggins, little hop step. Harrelson, great position on the inside. As far as team fouls in the second half. 10-20 to go. Jones leaning attack. And he got it to go down. Yeah, almost like a dead ball. Kentucky with a chance to grab the lead. Lamb slicing to the rim. It's good. Deron Lamb. A six. Had eight lead changes here today. The latest one coming from Deron Lamb getting to the hole. And he was banged up at the end of this play. He sure was. Connolly. No, no call on the Maddox drive. Liggins. Nice pass. What a find. Another connection, Liggins to Harris. Has to do is plant them. But look at the way Liggins comes through the lane and delivers and brings Pavridis 10 points. Miller trying to break him down off the dribble. Jones lines it up and buries it a three. You can see, winner will play West Virginia, who knocked off Clemson earlier today. Liggins a three. Bottom. You touched on it before the way they shoot the three ball for John Calipari's squad. The Kentucky Wildcats leading Princeton 53 to 48. Kentucky. And that's what Harrelson does so well. Keeping second opportunities alive. Knight can't get it to go. Harrelson! Oh, so strong on the interior. And a chance for three. You talk about a guy who understands and has gotten better and better at using his size, his strength, and his positioning. Quite a story for Kentucky, the way he's improved. Watch him down deep, go to work. The best offensive rebounder in the SEC. And boy, it goes up quickly right there to finish and finishes it off with a solid reaction. Possession. Douglas Davis, 0 of 5 from the field in the second half. Oof. Oh, big time blocked by Jones, extending out on Davis. Out of bounds. There, they can get their shot off. Oh, sorry, not that time. Not so much. Wow, what a quick extension there by Joe. Miller gives it up. Liggins knifes his way to the rim. And DeAndre Liggins has had an impact here today. On the outside, Navrades step away, oh. buries it. We are tied at 57. Timeout, Kentucky. But if I'm Kentucky, I just bring this down and I try to get a shot up with the shot clock down to about four seconds or so. Allows me for an offensive tip in. And just wait it out. Downside, if you're Princeton on this, is clearly if Kentucky scores, you're only going to have one, two, or three seconds left on the clock. 15 seconds left. Kentucky and Princeton all tied up. Tension here in Tampa. Nine seconds left. Knight on the outside. Five seconds left. Knight with three. With two. The runner goes down. With two seconds to go. Kentucky up by two. And a timeout called by Princeton. Knight with his first bucket of the afternoon. Relation. Well done on the clock. Look at the big stride, the big step, and what a difficult, difficult shot to put it up off the window, floating out of bounds. A terrific move by the youngster. They get it in. Maddox, a heave at the horn. It was late, and it's over. A narrow escape for the Kentucky Wildcats. They beat Princeton 59 to 57 to advance. Brandon Knight, a floater with two seconds left, is the difference. Kentucky takes it over the Tigers 59 to 57 to move on. They will play West Virginia in the third round of the East Region.